So if you've been on a social media site more than once, you've probably managed to offend someone along the way. So what if the person taking offense is your boss? Fox 8 legal analyst Tom Ehrman joins us to answer the question, is it legal for you to be fired for what you post on social media? Well, we've got the answer. Like any other professional fence straddler, I can say unequivocally, it depends. It was arguably the greatest shot in the history of professional basketball. Irving and Curry, one-on-one. -on -one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! 2016, Game 7, the NBA Finals. Final seconds. It's over! It's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! What Kyrie Irving did brought people together, filling the streets with celebration. Today, what Kyrie says, or at least what he posts online, seems to be tearing people apart. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here to talk about stuff that divides the game. Now, now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. It's obviously by his answers and the way he answers, he doesn't really care. And according to the Brooklyn Nets, posting a link to an allegedly anti-Semitic documentary crossed the line. The organization has made multiple attempts to um, to get with Kyrie and his representation and to have them clarify his feelings and you know put out a sense of remorse for this and that obviously didn't happen and he he refused to disavow that i think this was the best course of action as as it stands right now is is to suspend him his lame apology didn't help much either i take my responsibility for posting that some things that were questionable in there untrue like I said, in the first time you guys asked me when I was sitting on that stage, I don't believe everything that everybody posts. It's a documentary, so I take my responsibility. Make no mistake, the Nets suspended Kyrie Irving five games for the content of his speech. Celebrity athletes with multi-million dollar contracts and endorsement deals may play by a different set of rules. But what about you? What if your boss finds your Facebook post offensive or that Instagram photo inappropriate or that viral video you shared too extreme for the company's image? Is it legal for your employer to fire you for your social media posts? You better believe it and you better be careful. If you work in the private sector, the First Amendment does not protect you. Your boss can fire you for just about anything. Mock a politician, share a raunchy meme, post a racy vacation photo. Private businesses are free to be offended and free to show you the door. There are, however, some exceptions. According to the National Labor Relations Board, you cannot be fired for truthful social media posts about low wages, pay disparities, workplace harassment, unsafe working conditions, whether or not to join a union, illegal activity by your employer. You can even express support for a fellow employee who has been disciplined. These limited protected topics, however, are subject to interpretation. It's Irving's first touch, takes the three. So even if you are an all-star at the office, polarizing posts can cost you. Remember, the First Amendment only protects free speech from intrusion by the government. And that's why public employees actually do have some constitutional protection when it comes to getting disciplined for social media posts. Even there, a court may find that a racial slur, for example, undermines a public employee's ability to do their job and the firing could be upheld. So that's why all these public firings wind up in federal court today. Quite a list there. We've Ooh, learned a yeah. lot from you already. But what if you send something uh, to someone privately, like in a, a DM or you text message something yeah. that might be considered racy or just text? The same rules apply. You know, that some people think they're protected because it's private. If your boss finds out someone turns it over to your employer, they can fire you for the same reasons. Doesn't matter if it's public or private. Same thing goes with, you know, conversations or back and yeah. forth with, with uh, you know, your, your employer's email. Yep. Oh, well, uh, if you're on your employer's email, it's particularly bad because they have full access to that. But if, even if you're on your private email, if they see it, they can discipline you for it. Bottom line here, Tom, I guess the best policy is when in doubt, leave it out? 
Always. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. You have a right to remain silent. That's the bottom line. You know. Um, one other piece of advice, if, if your lawyer shows up to court looking like I did in that package, um, know a couple things. Number one, he's a man of common sense. And number two, probably has limited presentation skills. <laughs> not true. Hey, it, well, I'm sure it was cold that day when you, yeah. when you did that, that was, stand up there. That, that that's the look that says, I can't believe I agreed to do this. But. <laughs> that means you're focused more on the material. <laughs> exactly. Not the fashion what, what he was part saying. Of <laughs> so, you, the bottom line here, just think before you speak. Exactly. You know. yeah, or wear that hat. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff, Tom. Thanks. Thank you. Always great to see you. Thanks.